All right, what's up everybody? This is Nemo Flow out here. Um, so we're gonna get a video today. My buddy called me and said he just bought a Ninja 500 and he said that someone put water in the gas tank. So I'm gonna go drown the oil and see if the oil goes down to the bottom and then up to the top after, or after it comes out. If any water comes out, then I'll tell him that his son bike is busted. But it was a fair trade. It was what it is. I'll get more into it later, but I think it's about to turn green. We are back again. I am at Wells Fargo, just deposited $200 because they had to take out the scooter payment. Um, for anyone who's wondering, it's $2,600 total and um, it's usually about $178 every two weeks if you finance it. But um, all right, so from here, we're gonna go to my house, do a little check-in, and then we're gonna head up to Dalton's house, go check out that bike and see what he's got working there. So I'll see you there. All right, what's up everybody? So I got Jocelyn with me over here. Yo, what's good, what's good? So we're gonna go check out Dalton's bike right now. We're on the way, we're gonna take the scooter up there. Dalton says she's allowed over. So but yeah, I'm the bike mechanic, as as y'all can see. I got a crash scooter, I got a bike, I got a scooter over here, I got a jigster in my grandparents' garage. Um, so yeah, you ready, Lin Lin? Um, when they're that old, they have a slick over them. So if you take off fast enough on this, then it's gonna start peeling out and you're gonna slide over. If we can't get this open, then there's no way to check what's actually in there. If he wasn't capping about the water, then, oh my gosh. Um, oh. You can't get up to second. All right, first, neutral. I can't get it to second. Maybe you gotta be moving. And maybe, <laughs> maybe you gotta be moving with it. Okay. Cash for clunkers. Cash for clunkers. Right cash there. for clunkers. Okay, so you have a reserve on this tank too, so there's extra gas in there. So, oof, maybe some water. Yeah, maybe some water <laughs> if you're lucky. These seals right here are. F if you can, like, there's something right here that connects these. These are. F Oh, we got those. Yeah, so, yeah, 220 for the wiring harness. No, it's not. Your rotor's f Yeah, no back brake. He no. said if we tie a, a, a toe strap to it and bump start it, it would turn on. <laughs> <laughs> I think you not. Feel that? That's supposed to feel smoother than a baby's butt. And that means your brake pads in there are both f For sure. The thing only goes up to 140. No, so this thing only goes 118. And it's carbureted. These are dangerous, dude. Oh, we need to trash this bike, my, my guy. After it's fixed, though. After, after. You're gonna spend a lot. Hit like, bro, f selling it. I'm gonna hit like Pleasant and f send it off the cliff. I'm gonna be riding this f rocket. So many bikes out there for cheaper than this that you could get to just roll real quick. Well, I got this one for free, dude. Here. Garage lineup, though. Yeah, dude, the charger and the f Firebird Trans Am in here, dude. Come on now. Oh, it's a Daytona? Yeah, that's a Daytona. Oh. One step up from the RT. Yep. Three steps up from the f***ing SXT. <laughs> if you ask me. Hmm, there's water in there, dude. You got napkins by any chance? Yeah. Wasn't really thinking, my bad. <laughs> this is Nemo Flow in action over here. Oil on the hands, what's up? This bike is not saveable. There was water as it first came out. It looked really diluted. It wasn't straight water, so it, he could be capping. Figure out what the f is going on with that clutch. That carburetor will be a big <laughs> Now, dude, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, you're walking into a battle that you're going to walk out of without without a bike. You're going to need a new rotor. You're going to need new brake pads. New tires. You need to replace the fork seal. Those shots are definitely going in the next music video, but if all goes to plan, the next music video is the one where we got drifting shots in here. I think we need to get better filmers and do it again. I want to see them. I, I was I was looking at the f what you would call it when we pulled up to that uh, road. Yeah. And so so it was like, dude, whatever. <laughs> dude, that fool was so funny. Dude, we're, that's told me he's as soon as as soon as you guys left and so so left, he's like, f that n word, and I was like, <laughs> that one. It's funny as f***. Oh, dude. That's why Thess didn't like him, though, because he was unprofessional. He was what? Unprofessional. <laughs> Thess is a hard, hard, hard worker. Serious about everything. Dude, no time for jokes. That fool was cracking jokes. <laughs> yeah. right. Where'd you even f*** find that fool? I was like, you got any carts? And he's like, yeah, so me and my girl pulled up, and then he's I pulled up the first time I ever met him. He's in the Circle K on 35th and Happy Valley, sitting in his car. <laughs> and I'm like, I pull up, so I'm like, <laughs> and so Jessica looks at me, she's like, <laughs> I'm like, fuck you. So I get out of the car, I go grab the car, and he gets out of the car, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dancing. 
Uh, he in the cart in broad daylight, so I'm like, I take the money. <laughs> Just get back into the cart, dude. It was the funniest experience of my life. He told me, he's like, hey, if you ever need someone for a music video, let me know. So I was like, tomorrow. I wish we could get your brother out. Bro, so isn't he supposed to show up that one day? Yes. That's why I supposed to pull that apart. Exactly. Like, if I get you in a video, I want him because you guys are the twins that I grew up with. It's a yeah. part of my history. Not just Dalton. They're not just white. You guys were always together when we yeah. all hung out. Exactly. Like, if I get a video with you two and me and Jaden, set. Wyatt saw Jocelyn when he tried to sell me that bus of red truck. Oh, really? Dude, he, he tried to sell that to me, and so I told him, I was like, Leave me at, or, let's go up to Rodeo Ford. So we picked him up from my dad's house and we went up to Rodeo Ford. And normally they're supposed to take like 30 minutes to evaluate it or whatever, but we didn't even get to the next parking lot to look at cars before they called me and were like, hey, come back. The guy had a flashlight and the truck's up in the air and he goes up to it. He's like, so this, not supposed to be like that. So this, not supposed to be like that. This, this is sludge. This hasn't been changed anywhere. You got a massive coolant leak. You got an oil leak right here. I was like, I was looking at Wyatt the whole time. I was like, dang, that's crazy. Wow. I wonder how much that would cost to get fixed. We were walking out, he's like, no, bro, I'm not even going to try to sell you this. My bad, my bad. I was like, no big deal. In conclusion for this episode, Dalton's bike is not going to be doing anything but going to the scrapyard. Our tires are slicked over from 2012. I highly doubt any of the brake lights or the tail lights or anything like that work. The forks are crooked and the seals are busted. I think the bike's had it had its time, had its long enough, so call it that. All right, so we're out here getting some Sonic. Some girl in a Mustang was revved it up for me. That was, that was for me. Yeah, she right there. But um, um, yeah, that bike was and there's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing. So, uh, <laughs> Give me one more year and you'll see me on a poster. Sorry, girl with hot buns, you know I got a toaster.